When you're using the Document Library Pro plugin to create an online document library, the brilliant thing is that you don't just have to list documents. You can list any type of resource. You also don't just have to provide them as downloadable links. You can provide your documents with links to third party websites, such as maybe they're hosted on Dropbox or YouTube or something. And you can also embed them directly into your website if they're particular file types. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an audio or video library using the Document Library Pro plugin with embedded audio and video that people can watch and listen to directly on your website. Here we have the demo site for the Document Library Pro plugin. And if I filter it for audio and video, you can see that directly on our main Document Library page, we have embedded audio tracks and also embedded videos. And as well as having it on your document library page, people could click through to the individual page for each document to listen on that page. So you've got a choice of ways that you can provide the audio and video in addition to allowing people to, to download it. And of course, if you don't want them to be able to download it, simply don't add it as a downloadable file. You can just provide it as an embedded audio or video player so that people can watch and listen online without downloading it. I'll show you how to set up this now. First, you need to install the Document Library Pro plugin and go through the settings uh, to choose which columns you want to display in the document library and various other options. I'm just going to focus now on the options that you need to display audio and video directly on your website. The most important setting for that is the short codes option. So you need to tick that. This tells your document library page to render any content such as audio and video players, which you're embedding in the information about each document. So I'm going to do that and then scroll to the bottom and click save changes. Now I'm on my test site and here's a document library that I've set up. So you can see that there are already some audio files. I'm going to show you how to add one audio file and one video file so that you know how to do it on your own document library. For the audio file, let's go into this Zoom meeting document and then I'm going to click on the edit document link at the top. So I want to add an audio file here. You can add some text if you want, and then you need to click the add media button. Now, this is the classic WordPress editor. And if you're using something different like the Gutenberg editor or a page builder plugin, then you would either add an audio block or a shortcode block. So I'm going to click add media and then I'm going to upload a file. So I'll select a file and I have an MP3, which is a type of audio file in my on my computer. So I'm going to select that and then upload it and then insert into document. Now, as you can see, because it was a valid audio file type, WordPress itself has cleverly converted that into an actual audio player. So that's made it really simple. If I want people to be able to download the audio file, I could also add it as a file upload so that people can um, download it to their computer. Or if you just want them to listen online, then that's already in place here. So I'm going to click update and then I'm going to go back to my document library page and refresh it so that you can see what I've just added. So because I have a content column in my document library table, that has displayed the content that I just added to the document here. So that's able, if I click press play, it would work, but I don't want the noise to happen. Uh, so that's a proper embedded audio file. And if I want to click through to the document on the single document page, I can also listen online that way. So that's how we add embedded audio files. Now let's add a video. I'm going to go into a different document so again, I'll click through and click edit document and I want to add an embedded YouTube video here. You could also use add media to upload a video file such as an MP4 directly, but it's generally not recommended to host videos in the WordPress media library. And the reason is because as well as taking up a lot of space on your hosting account, uh, which may be limited, it won't be as accessible for people because video hosting services such as YouTube and Vimeo 
actually automatically convert your videos into the appropriate format depending on the user's device. So whether they're using an old fashioned or a really modern computer, whether they're on an iPhone or iPad or other mobile device, um, the YouTube or whichever video hosting service you're using will make it accessible so that it will work on their device. If you just upload an MP4 or something to the media library, it is what it is and there's no further processing going on. So let's go to YouTube. So this is one of my videos and I'm going to get the video link. If you're just viewing the public YouTube video, you can just use your address bar at the top to copy the link or you can find it when you edit the video if it's one of your videos. So I've just clicked the copy video link button and then I'm going to go back to my document. I'm going to go to a new line and then I'm going to paste it in. And all I did then was press control V and of course you could do edit paste as well. So I pasted in the link that I just copied from YouTube and WordPress itself has converted this into a proper video player. I'm then going to click update and I'm going to go back to my document library page again and refresh it and then we're going to find it. So here's our embedded video. And if we click through to the document, we could also see it um, on there. And there's various things you could do to improve the layout, such as um, if this was a real website, I would use my theme options panel to remove the right sidebar. And that would allow more space for the video so that it would look um, the correct proportions on the screen. So that's it. We've learned how to add embedded audio and video content to our document library.